afternoon family, welcome to Sweeney's Creek Farm. I've got a project here that I've been putting off uh, due to other things that are going on. This is the new shed that we've put up and I put in all the pipe work for the tank you can see up the back. So this is a closed system. So what it does is it fills up uh, the pipes. The pipes are all sealed and it pushes the water down and as soon as it gets to us, the level at the top it pushes the water in so there is water in these pipes at the moment sitting there and once it rains and it goes down the gutters it will then overflow into the tank the tank is actually three quarters full and that's the reason this job hasn't been done because when i was trying to do it we had a lot of rain and the trenches kept on filling up so i had to wait the job i'm doing now is you can see i have my pipe here the stormwater pipe this is 90 mil down pipes into 100 mil and i've done two uh two runs one on this side and one on the other side just because there would be too much water uh going into a 100 mil pipe if it was all going into the same one down that joint there so what I did was I actually filled the bottom of this trench with a product called Cordomitis, which is a teeny tiny stone um, and that was used as bedding and that was to protect the pipe from any sharp uh, objects above. Now what I've got to do is I have this poly pipe here. So this is one inch or 25 mil pressure pipe. Uh, it is for drinking water. I'm going to run that in the trench as well, all the way up to that uh, tank there, and then it will go down into the property down here. And then I will actually fill in with more bedding sand or cordomitis. Uh, and the reason for that is because when I put the rest of this dirt back in, I don't want sharp stones to be sitting on the pipe because if you um, drive over this or anything gets pushed into it, it could actually push into the pipe and then break the uh, PVC, which then means it's not a closed loop system and it'll just leak out everywhere. So I have to protect this pipe. The job I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually flatten out this mound of dirt because it's a little bit hard to get the tractor over and dump sand into it. So I'll flatten it out a little bit so I can get over. And in the, uh, in the meantime, it might actually get rid of a few of these weeds here if not i'll pull them out by hand um, and once i've done that i'll run this pipe in and then i'll start filling it up fingers crossed So I've run the pipe all the way up to the tank. Now I'm just going to flatten this out a little bit so I can get the tractor over to dump. Um, it's just a little bit high, so I'm just going to take the top off. Well, that's the plan, so we'll see how it goes.
So I filled some of this in and now I'm just going to push this dirt in this section here and then finish that bit up there and do this bit here. I think my battery's going flat so I probably won't get to film this but me covering all this up because you normally get dug up again. So I've done all the way around uh, the shed and I'll show you on the other side what it looks like. I did that, um, well my dad actually did that uh, about a month or so ago. So this was the last bit that was finished. So it's all done all the way up to the tank there, uh, ready for it to rain uh, and not fill up the ditch again. As you can see, this is where the trench was. This was done quite some time ago, so it started to settle. So I've been able to flatten this off a little bit more. Um, it's still a little bit high, but I know it's going to settle more. So I don't want to actually fill it all in and then have to find some dirt to uh, to fill the hole in. Uh, my neighbor's got his tractor going. My other neighbor's got his tractor going. So it must be the time for tractors. I'm finished for the day. It's time to go inside and have a cool drink and wait for this rain to come that they say is coming. Um, I'll uh, believe it when I see it. Anyway guys, hope you've liked this video and we'll see you on the next one.